Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. And today I'm talking about The Little Things, released last Friday, written and directed by John Lee Hancock, yeah. and starring Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto, all of whom are Academy Award-winning actors. Uh, this movie is also uh, part of HBO's, uh, or Warner Brothers' new uh, Same Day is released streaming uh, thing they got going on that they debuted with Wonder Woman that they're going to keep up apparently with like... Uh, Kong vs. Godzilla and um, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat and shit like that going forward over the spring and the summer. The whole setup here is uh, Denzel Washington is, a, is a, vet, a veteran sheriff coming to L.A. basically just to pick up some evidence and kind of gets caught up in the investigation of a serial killer that mirrors a case he was on years earlier. The movie also takes place in the early 1990s. Uh, I really thought Denzel was very, very good in this. Jared Leto, even though it's about an hour into the movie before we finally see him, he's really, really unsettling as, as the villain. Uh, Malik, you know, I don't know. He, he's just not... You know, I, I liked Bohemian Rhapsody. I really did. But, yes, I agree with the criticisms. Basically, just a, um, a, a VH1 <laughs> biopic. The kind of ones you got in the 90s. I mean, literally, for like, you know, uh, the Jackson 5 biopic. It's kind of like that movie. But it's, um, uh, it, you know, I still enjoyed it. It's Queen. You know, what do you want? But I don't know. I just I just don't, I just don't think he's going to be a movie star, you know? Uh, I, I think the movie was also kind of dragged down by repetitive tropes. Things you've seen in lots of cops movie, cop movies and TV shows before. Uh, I mean, lots of them. <laughs> And, uh, I, but I, ultimate, and there is some really, really, really contrived story beats in this movie that just, well, we gotta get here somehow, so let's just do, have somebody do something really, really stupid and write it off by, oh, they're just crazy, kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, uh, the, the third act of the movie is kind of phenomenal and, and shocking and totally compelling. Uh, so I'm going to give the film three and a half stars. Uh, I would give, would give it four because if it was a first stronger movie star in, in, in um, uh, the, the, the Batster character, the, um, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the other detective, the supporting detective role. But yeah, I do think this movie is worth checking out and worth seeing and might eventually take its place in the in the dark, gritty, modern, noirish uh, thrillers. Uh, like I said, it has a lot of tropes, a lot of things I've seen in lots of shows. I mean, I was I was even literally reminded of Beverly Hills Cop. That's how that's how many that's kind of how much this movie feels like feels unintentionally reference heavy. Uh, but yeah, I, I still still enjoyed it. Um, I, and oh, also, I, I really did like the use of uh, of the setting, the early '90s, such as um, uh, you know, the, the the internet was virtually you know a uh, in it, its first year at that time, if even that old. And uh, you know, the cops didn't, their, their files, their research, their database was that you know files. <laughs> And the um, and I also like the this kind of melancholy use of music, like there's a, there's a car chase scene and the people are listening to the B-52s. There's a uh, scene where they're pulling up to a uh, uh, um, like they they found another body, and the song on the radio is like you know the the uh, Supremes or something. It was uh, I, I I enjoyed the style. Enjoy the movie while it's on, even though ultimately its fault was its script. Um, and it wasn't a weak script. It just could have used maybe a couple more drafts. Anyhow, because uh, there's some smart stuff in there. Some good stuff here. Definitely some good stuff here and definitely recommend it. I'm going to go ahead and give it the four stars because I, I might not have too many more uh, theatrical movies to have an opportunity to give positive reviews too anyhow i hope you all enjoyed this video please like share comment and subscribe i'm jake davis and i'll catch you on the fly this naked <laughs> baby photobombing me